Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do screen mirroring on your Android device. So let's get started. First, you need the unit. It needs to be running with the engine on. And uh, you need to have the USB connected. So you have two USB ports here. And you can see they're connected at the back here. It's a brown connector. It has a certain shape to it, and that's where it goes. Uh, depending on your car, it might be different. Just uh, match the shape with the back side of the connector. So once you have the unit ready, we need to get the phone ready. And with the phone, you need five things. You need to have USB debugging mode on. You need to have mobile hotspot on, Bluetooth connected to the unit, and the correct charging cable. Um, you also have to have easy connect app installed. When I say correct charging cable, uh, this cable needs to be able to read your phone's information. How you can check that is uh, first you can plug in the cable. So plug in the cable. After you plug in the cable, plug this into your computer. If your computer uh, pops up and it's able to read the information on your phone, then the cable is good. If you plug this into your computer and it only charges the uh, phone, then you need to change your cable. So we have the correct cable. And now that we've checked the cable, we need to have Easy Connection app installed. So if I go to the Play Store and I search Easy Connection, you can see I have the app installed already. Uh, this is the application and I have it right here, the icon there. After you have Easy Connect app installed, you need to have Bluetooth connected. So let's go to our Bluetooth settings. and. Now that we have Bluetooth on, if we go on the unit to Bluetooth, after you go to Bluetooth, you can go to Bluetooth devices, and it should pop up here. So let's wait. There's my Note 8. I press connect. Now that my phone's asking for the password, it's uh, four zeros. Okay. So it should be connecting now. Let's see. Um, should be connected. Yep, it is connected. So if I open the Spotify app and I go to the, let's see, Bluetooth music on the device and I press play, it should play my music. There's the speaker. It is playing. Uh, actually, it's playing. We got to go to Bluetooth music. There you go. That's a uh, Bluetooth music. And it is playing. Yep. Okay, so Bluetooth is connected. Easy Connect app is installed. Uh, USB debugging mode is on. Let's how to, let's show you how to turn that on. So on this is a Galaxy Note 8, but depending on your phone, you can just Google it and say USB debugging mode turn on for your phone. So go to settings. Scroll all the way down to About Phone. Press Software Information. Look for where it says Build Number and press Build Number repeatedly until it has a notification that says Developer Mode Turned On. You can see it's already turned on. If I press Back, Back again. There, if I scroll, right now I'm in Settings. If I scroll all the way down to uh, Developer Options, there's an option for USB debugging. You see USB debugging, it's currently on. If I turn that off and turn it on again, notification will pop up. I press OK. After that, we have USB debugging mode on. We have Easy Connect app installed. We have Bluetooth connected. Now we need to connect the hotspot. So let's go into my Wi-Fi settings. And here we have mobile hotspot and tethering. Let's press that. And let's turn on mobile hotspot. Press OK let mobile hotspot turn on now that mobile hotspot is on we can press mobile hotspot you could see my device is called samsung galaxy note 8 9254 the password is hello 555 on our unit if i go to settings then i go to more settings i should be able to go to wi-fi and my unit, my phone should pop up here, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If I connect it, let's see, press it here, show password, and I'll say hello, 555, five, five, whoops, 555, five, five, connect. Now it should connect. 
and connected. Now that it shows connected, um, we have the hotspot connected, the Bluetooth connected, Easy Connect app installed, and um, let's go. So now we have the cable. Let's connect it to the one labeled USB one. Let's see. Connect it to USB one. If it's not labeled, try one or the other. Allow USB debugging, okay. And if I go to phone link, I should be able to press Android Wi-Fi when it pops up. Android Wi-Fi, oh, it defaulted to USB because we connected USB. Uh, allow Easy Connect after your contacts. Allow, 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 allow. Now it's gonna say turn off mobile hotspot. Easy Connect will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. Start now. And then we're gonna press accept. And you can see now it's screen, it's mirroring my phone's screen. So that's how to do screen mirroring on your Android device. Uh, this is Android USB. So if I disconnect this USB, it should revert to Android Wi-Fi. So I have the USB disconnected. If I press Android Wi-Fi, you can see it's detecting and there you go. So that's how to do screen mirroring on your Android device. Thank you guys for watching. Couple things to note, you need to have USB debugging mode on, mobile hotspot connected, Bluetooth connected, and uh, you also have to have the Easy Connect app installed. And lastly is this cable needs to be able to read on your computer. So it needs to be able to read your phone's information. Right now we're using Android Wi-Fi as the screen mirroring option, but if we wanna change it back to USB, we can just plug it in and it'll use the USB. So let's uh, open YouTube really quick. YouTube. And let's play a video. So you can see that the volume is coming from the unit. And a video is playing fine. I recommend it through USB for a better video feed, but if I disconnect it right now, you can see uh, it's not too bad either through Wi-Fi. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.